Hey everybody, Don Dabney from Left Coast Classics. And uh, I get about, I don't know, a couple of Model Ts a year. And this one by far is the easiest to drive, the easiest to start, there's just nothing to it. It starts right up in the morning. It's got an electric starter on it with a button. It's got a uh, brake, it's got, it actually has a gas pedal that's been installed for the throttle. It's just the easiest one ever to drive. So we've been out running for, uh, an hour in idle and the car is running nice and cool taking photos cruising around i love this model t and these speedsters are are pretty special so let's take a little bit of a cruise and show you how it works particular car is really cool. It's got a tachometer installed, the fat man steering wheel, and uh, the amp meter is working. Uh, it's got a separate light switch because the old ones are a little funky, so that just alleviates any problems with that. It, uh, it just runs great. The Ruxel rear end gives you the extra gearing you kind of want if you're out highway cruising. Everything just works tip top on this one. Tell you something, this car gets more thumbs up and more smiles than cars I have 10 times the value. So it's a lot of bang for the buck. It's really easy to drive, which is really the key. You want to have the electric starter, the Ruxel rear end, and have all the right things in it to make it easy to use. Otherwise, you won't use it. But this one, you just pull it, it starts right up, pull it out, go for a cruise. when I met the couple that had this car. It turned out up in here in Northern California, they knew my uncle Lee, Lee Chase, big Model T guy in the Los Angeles scene back in the day. He's now well into his 80s, uh, late 80s. Gave him a call and anyway, it's such a small world with these cars and the people connected around them. And what all the old timers talk about, we all talk about it is that you know, we hope that a younger generation is catching on to these cars and will carry the torch forward. Because the Model T just has an amazing history. This was the first American car that was built to be affordable to everybody who worked. And uh, a lot of them were made, but obviously not so many have survived over the years. Pretty good amount of them out there. But to get one that's uh, a speedster setup is super cool. Another interesting thing is this car originally came out of California, we're told, out of Sonora. It then went uh, to, uh, let's see, I think it was Oregon. Oregon or Washington, briefly, where it was put indoors. And then when this couple bought the car back many, many years ago, they brought it back to California. So this car is, as we understand, has spent most of its life in California. Head underneath the uh, Model T Speedster. Just a really beautiful Speedster built by T enthusiasts. He's in his 80s. He's had so many of these cars. He knows them so well. And you can just see how well it's put together. It's a really easy to start, run, and drive car. Everything's wired nicely and just well sorted, nicely put together. Of course, you got your mechanical brakes. Got some nice steps to get in. It's got a Ruxel rear end and a finned oil pan. Just very cool. It's got a newer set of tires on it, in good shape, ready to go. 
I don't know how new, but they're tons of tread and no dry rot going on. We should be good for a long time. Got this nice Ruxel rear end here. We bought that from my friend Frank here in Sonoma. But it's by far the easiest to start and drive Model T I've ever had in my inventory. So whoever gets it's going to really enjoy it. Anyway, check out all the photos. We hope you enjoy the car. Such a great car. And uh, check out our YouTube channel. We've got hundreds of great videos up there. Check out our, we're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever all the other ones. Plus just a killer website at leftcoastclassics.com. Leftcoastclassics, not our politics, just our location.